Hey guys, welcome back to Duster Bust. My name is Marcos. Today we're going to be doing a quick video on testing lead paint. So before we get too far into this project, um, as we structure things, uh, one of the first things we're doing is mitig mitigating any safety risk. So lead paint, uh, especially having kids around, this is very important. Um, there, there's a lot of issues that can come as a result of being around lead paint and exposure to lead paint and lead paint dust. So what we want to do is understand, um, does this car have lead paint? We're going to check in a couple different spots and that is going to help us determine the risk level and that if we, I'm assuming we do have lead paint on this, um, but if we don't, it frees up a lot of options for how we're going to do the build, um, some cost options as well. There's more work that we can do ourselves uh, and we're not as worried about doing sanding uh, in the garage. Here's what we're using today. It's this 3M lead check kit. This is $10 at Lowe's. So, uh, you know, a very cheap way to know what you're dealing with. All right, so quick prep work for each of the areas we're gonna test. First, clean the area thoroughly. Uh, and then we're gonna use some sandpaper to just scuff it up a little bit just to get under the clear coat. Uh, and then we're gonna go through our test procedure. So it's already cleaned. We're going to take our sandpaper just a little bit. And actually, I'm going to need that in a second. All right, so what we're doing here is we have crush A, crush B. Ugh. Give it two shakes. And then you squeeze, and we should see a little bit of yellow fluid start to come out. There it is. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to rub here for 30 seconds. And if it turns red or pink, that means we have some lead paint. So probably a little bit over 30 there. And that does not look red or pink to me. So that is actually super awesome. Uh, that frees up a lot, of, uh, a lot of options for us. I mean, for one, we could, uh, we could have the kids working while, while I'm in here. I've been keeping them away from the car. Um, but also we could, I mean, we could go sleeper car if we wanted to and just leave it exactly as is. All right, moving on to the next area. I gotta get my sandpaper. And again, this is the, the kind of Bondo skim coating um, that was on, I believe this area is from the factory. All right. Now, same thing. Crush A, ah, crush B, ah. two shakes, little squeeze. It's gonna drip out yellow. There we go. And then here we go. One, two, three, four. Whoa. There we go. That is most definitely pink. Ooh, you know what? Since we're rubbing on something that's pink, I don't know that that is accurate. But looking up here, this is interesting to me. If, if you zoom in here, that was just a drip that came down. And that just, let me squeeze a little more out. So that, is turning red. Um, come on, get out there. Give me another drip. You can do it. Let's just see if that turns red on its own. But I'm gonna say that this area, the way that it, it is tinted red there, I'm gonna say that this is a, is a fail and on the areas where we have the Bondo, that is a lead paint area. 
So, last one we're going to do is down here in the engine bay. Again, scuff up some of this. And we're going to take our whoop, crush A, crush B, little squeeze, get a drip coming out. Got the drips. And 30 seconds. Seems a little weird to scratch up this area. <laughs> but uh, fresh scratches. We're good. All right, so quick recap. Um, we did the lead paint test in three areas. Uh, we did it just on the general body. We did it on the Bondo area. So that was kind of a seam where the different uh, parts were welded together. Anywhere we see that, we definitely have lead paint there and we need to be careful in those areas. And then lastly, in the uh, engine bay, the suspension areas, those kind of underbody parts, those tested um, negative as well, so those were good to go on. So we'll take that in mind. That's, that's really, uh, really good news. I expected we'd see lead paint everywhere, so this frees up some options for us going forward. So again, the lead paint test, we picked it up at Lowe's, cheap way that you can really understand what you're working with, and I'm sure we're going to save some money on this build just because of having that data point. So. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for listening. Um, please hit the su subscribe button and stay with us as we uh, go through this full rebuild. Um, hit the bell. That way you get notified whenever we post a new video. And uh, that's it for now.